Here we go then, boys and girls. It is the first Twitch Lelujo Derby of the year. It's Gench Lebilly versus Demir Spor. New club versus old club. And we can go top of the league if we beat them. How very exciting. Ankara Ultras are coming for me. I mean, every fan who's ever been to either of these so I see either of these teams play could all turn up together and there'd still be less than 5,000 people here. I think I'll be fine. I, I have no fear. I have no fear whatsoever. Um, I've just noticed as well, we had an away game against the Goztepe where 11,000 people were there. Oh, they're the team that are top of the league currently. So they're a bigger, they're a bigger deal than we are, clearly. Oh, Oh, loyalty. I mean, believe it or not, the, the rain mecca, people do change jobs. I I know several people who have had more than one job in their life. I've also, and you won't believe this one, I am familiar with several football managers who've changed clubs. Players occasionally move to different clubs as well. It's a, it's a scary world if you look at it in too much detail. Are we going to beat? We are going to beat Anchor. There's not really any doubt. The form we were in last night, we are we are pretty good. We went from. I mean, we were unbeaten for a long time. We also didn't win any matches. It was very dull. We've no, we've actually only lost two, one league game. Oh yeah, one league game, and that was when we were in the midst of the player mutiny. That was when we had an argument brewing. So that's the only time we've lost a league game. We are a good side. That being said, we've picked up a couple of injuries there just while I've been chatting to you without us playing matches, which isn't ideal. Web app version of the Python thing is very good. I've not looked at it yet. I just saw the tweet and thought I'd retweet because he mentioned it when he was on the video at the weekend. He mentioned there was a web app coming. So, uh, yeah, I'll have a proper play around with it. It might even lead to another video. Who knows? Um, This is... It's very... It's very confused. Oh my word, we're actually losing. Imagine if this is our second ever defeat. They've gone one nil up inside two minutes. I will hydrate. I mean, there's no fear of any of my old boys being in their team, is there? Because I released them all. I don't want to see the replay. Have they got any of my boys in their team? Ender and Batterhan were mine. And is it Ali? So three of the back four are my boys. The rest of them are all new. Oh, there you go. This is a goal. Penalty kick. Very nice. Very, very nice. I just like Moo Cat. Moo Cat didn't even want to stay at Ankara. Moo Cat hated me. He led a mutiny and mumbled something about not saying his name right. That was a risky little penalty. Mm. I mean, he only just got away with that one, but he has got away with it before half time. That would be super duper. Somebody, somebody do a goal. Dodgson's surely offside there. I'm not campaigning for it, but how is he not offside? I don't think I understand the rules. And now he's scored. I would be appealing that. I'd be writing a, a letter to my MP if I was still anchor a manager there. <laughs> If you promote, could you stay in the Turkish League? I mean, if we get promoted, we might stay. The answer will always be maybe. It really depends on what feels like the best thing to do at the time. We don't necessarily do it according to salary that I'm offered, like in Non-Nita Legend. We'll just decide if we want to stay or if we want to go to another job. And I'm, if I get promoted, I'm not going to be applying for jobs elsewhere. Like, I didn't apply for this job. They came and offered me an interview and it was too good to turn down. If I... If I get this team promoted and then get offered a job that's too good to turn down, I probably won't turn it down. That doesn't necessarily mean leaving Turkey, though. We didn't even leave Ankara the last time we moved clubs. Is the hot tub stream still happening? If I get to 5,000 subs, yeah. Right, we'll have the final whistle now, please, ref. That was harder work than it was supposed to be. And somehow we've dropped a place in the league despite winning, which is going some. Yalikins, thank you very much for 13 months. 
Oh, no, we haven't. We are still second. We've got another good youngster here. Yeah, get up in the first team. Why not? The more, the merrier. Do a Mick Powell while you're here. Ooh, new contract for Kev. So I'm on 1.5k a week at the moment. I'm being offered 1.8. Let's try and get that up to two. Oh, we're going to be living a good life. 1.8k a week in Turkey feels like a lot of money. Coaching course. Am I, I thought I was doing one at the moment. Right, let's ask for a coaching course now. Is that something I can include in the negotiations that they'll put me on a coaching course? It doesn't look like it is. Is there a way to ask for the coaching course as part of it? It's like this would be a good place to put in, look, you will give me my coaching courses as part of it. But it doesn't look like it is. Right, we'll ask for 2.2. .2. Okay, 2.1 then. Two? 2,000 pounds a week for a man with no qualifications. I've fallen on my feet here in Turkey. I have no prior experience in football and a national C license. I don't speak a word of the language and they're paying me over £100,000 a year now to manage a football team in the second tier. Can you pay for your own courses privately? You cannot. But the board, there you go. The board have put me through the national B. You've got to spend your salary on coaching badges and that's it because some boards can be as stingy as anything. Yeah, but it's silly. All you're doing there is making it so that you can just automatically do your coaching badges, whatever. One of the only things that slows you down in a, in a journeyman save is not being able to just do your coaching badges one after the other. If you could spend your salary on them, you'd just do them back to back to back to back to back, at which point you may as well just start with your full coaching badges because within three seasons, you're going to have them anyway. I played that a lot because we didn't have a PC yet at that point. But I had a Mega Drive in my room. So I had that. Was Sensible World of Soccer on Mega Drive as well? Or was that when we got the PC? I know I played a lot of that as well. That might have been on the PC. But certainly Premier Manager 3 on Mega Drive, I played a lot. It was on both, was it? Okay. What about director mode? If, if you mean anything other than director of football, no. I don't want to be advertised at doing the uh, sponsor boards and designing the kits and building the stadium and setting the ticket prices or any of that kind of nonsense. That takes it too far away from what the game actually is. But having it so that you can choose to just do the transfers or choose to just pick the team. I mean, you can you can set it up within the staff responsibilities anyway. That'd be their argument for not doing it. You can hand we've done we've done it before. You can hand all your transfers over to a director of football to put you into head coach mode, and you can do all the transfers, then go on holiday to put yourself into director of football mode. But it's not exactly that in either mode, is it? You'll still get like a director of football isn't going to be judged as much on on pitch results. I want to be judged on the long-term direction of the club. I think it would be cool. See, that's the one that people ask for that doesn't make any sense. Because why would you want to? If you actually think about what an under-19s manager does, you won't be doing any transfers. You won't get to pick your own tactics. At best, you're going to be able to do the training. But you're going to be told what tactics to play. You're going to be told what players to focus on. You're just You're literally just doing the training. Doesn't seem as much fun, does it? It's all you rascals mocking it with your talk of loan manager mode and head physio mode. That means that stuff like this won't be taken seriously. Because Sports Interactive will be watching this thinking, oh, hang on, has he just had a good idea? Let's see what the chat have got to say. Oh, no, they're all mocking it. Obviously, no one wants this. You're ruining it for everybody. If they can't replicate it on their end, let me replicate it and give them snapshots of what's happening when it, repli when it happens. I could just press... Press a button every time. Oh, it's happening now. Press the button. Wouldn't take long to work out what's causing it from there. But that's just me being an idiot with a computer science degree, thinking about how I would troubleshoot it if I was developing the software. I think my solution would be, right, bring your PC down to our offices. We'll give you a lend. We'll lend you one to tide you over while we've got it. And we'll test it 
on this machine and find out exactly what's causing it. In the meantime, you can carry on making your content on a machine that's working fine. It will only take us a couple of days and then you can swap it back again. We understand you're a professional. We understand you do this full time. And we can trust you because we've worked with you for years. Please tell us tomorrow if you get a panicked email from SI. <laughs> oh, I will. Don't worry. If I have to cancel the stream tomorrow, you'll know why. It's because I'm driving back from Stratford with a PC under my arm. <laughs> Please put the PC in the boot, not under your arm while driving. <laughs> I mean, I might do that with theirs. I'm not, I'm carrying mine. I'm keeping mine safe. This costs me a lot of money. Right, do a goal. Come on, do a goal here. Yeah, that's it. We're, oh, what's this? Shenanigans! That's why you train set pieces, boys and girls. Look at this. Actual legitimate shenanigans. See, I can sit here and moan about the game for 20 minutes and then it will entirely delight me with something like that. In all my years playing Football Manager, I've never seen that before. That was beautiful. Wonderful stuff. I say a lot of things. Please, boys and girls, don't, don't take anything I ever say, literally. A lot of the time, I'm just moving my mouth and noises are coming out. There isn't a connection to my brain. I often don't know what I'm saying. I offered the other day, did I? Did I? <laughs> Well, there we go. I don't remember that at all. I don't even really like hot dogs. And I certainly think a man who's trying to convince the cardiologist he doesn't have a heart condition shouldn't be doing an eating contest. Although I would win it. No, we're not doing things that go in the fridge again. People are trying to get me on it, and I don't know why. Go back. This conversation will be on Alujo 2 somewhere. Is Chris going to have to start putting them in playlists according to which one of the five conversations you dragged me into? I've just My new policy is I'm not doing them a second time or an, an eighth time when it comes to some of them. You've got to be original. You've got to come up with something new. And we've got to stop losing matches because we looked like we could win the league for a little while there. I don't use the prompter for streaming like I thought I would, so I think I could probably... Just swap them over if I ever need to use the prompter. I use the prompter basically just for brand deals when I need to hit a script. So I can probably just swap them over on brand. I usually do all my branded content for the month on the same day. Just set it up on brand deal day and for the rest of the month, get the old camera back in again. But once Christmas is out of the way, it's a slow down a lot. Ah, fiddlesticks. A good old salmon. Football. Come on, then. But, of course, this coming summer should be... Uh, this this coming year should be a busy year all the way through to a point. We shouldn't have the football manager die off in the summer because it's a tournament summer. Which, of course, the World Cup being in the winter last year ruined. But having done this for seven years now, in my experience... The summers when there's a tournament on are you usually interested FM maintains throughout that summer. Whereas last year we lost that benefit because obviously the game came out and then the World Cup happened. So you didn't really notice that boost. If anything, the World Cup killed Football Manager for a month and then we kind of recovered. It was a weird year last year. I had a pretty poor December compared to what I would normally have. Are these our big rivals? Was this our big rival game? And I've just realised towards the end of it. Because I still don't know all the names. No, it isn't. They're the big rivals. Some of these names are too similar. So most people, most gaming channels certainly, stream on Twitch and then put their videos on YouTube. And because of that, it's not been very well tested to work out how to optimally do it all on YouTube.
Um, this has not been the best run of form, has it? Un- and inexplicably, after one win in five, we're still only two points off the top of the league. It's like nobody wants to get promoted from this division. It's a wonderful place to be. Right then. Tolga Topagloglu. Yep, in you come, son. Who's this? Oh, that's the guy we just said in you come, son, to. So we have to sign him now. We do need a DM. Did Ankara just win their first game? Did they? Bless them. Are they going to stay up? They're probably not. They did win their first game. They're 21 points from safety, so they're probably not staying up. They've not sacked the manager yet, though. Right, that's a new DM in. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We've also loaned out one of the young strikers, or the young striker, who's not really getting a look in because we've got lots of strikers. Oh, we can't afford this guy. Oh, much sadness. Oh, well, no Tolga. But again, that's probably a thing to figure out after Christmas. I don't want to fiddle with what's working at the moment. But apparently there's clever ways to make it so that if you're watching on Twitch, you only see the Twitch notifications. If you're watching on YouTube, you only see the YouTube notifications. It's all very clever. This is what Matt needs to come and sort out for me at some point. But once it's all sorted, it's going to be beautiful. He's on Radio X now. He is on Radio X now. And every year when Football Manager comes out, he mentions it. And every year I send him a tweet and every year he reads it out. I was interviewed on the Naughty Channels by Toby Tarrant. I mean, it was it was a football channel. I had to go down to this weird studio just off the back of Oxford Street. And this was before he was on the radio. So this was one of Toby Tarrant's first gigs, I guess. This was like seven or eight years ago. Um, one of the other presenters on the channel was Justin Lee Collins, who I don't think is allowed on any other channels anymore because he's a monster. Um, I think my mouse has died, folks which is a problem because we did talk pre-stream about how I'd broken my cable. Why are we just drawing all the time again now? It's the same teams it was happening to earlier on. I think these are just the teams that are better than us. They just... I mean, in all seriousness for a moment, um, they help prevent like sensory overload when I'm in a really, really loud and busy environment. It is quite nice just to be able to clunk, block out all the background noise. Because if you can get the AirPods Max with USB-C, then I will just upgrade to them. And that is problem solved. And then I will take the plunge and upgrade the phone as well. Headphones, my partner has them big over-ear pink ones. What, with a USB-C connection? Because I have the big over-ear green ones, but they're at Lightning. AirPods Max USB-C. Um, no, they don't exist. I don't actually remember how Topher ended up editing for me. I have no idea. My recollection of it is there was a time when he wasn't and then there was a time when he was and I don't remember how the transition occurred. <laughs> At all. <laughs> He's just kind of here now. Did I get him for Christmas? I don't know. I don't know what time of year it was. Was it the network game? Is that the first thing that he did? Or was there something before the network game? Is that what it was? Was it the network game? And then you uh, just kind of hung around after that. Talking of my empire, the time to move thumbnail from yesterday was superb. It certainly had the desired effect. We got a nice big click-through rate again. Someone on TikTok has just put, let's hope you read TikTok too. Let's hope I do. Football! Come on then. Here it goes again. Oh, it wasn't a football. I got excited and no football was done. So I imagine each match they have to go further and further out of Milton Keynes to re 
recruit kids to come for free just so that they can look like they've got some fans. Abo. Hopefully we'll do that again this season. Not at McDong's, but somewhere better. Are you coming to Ankara with me? Is women's football being added next year? Yes. Will it affect any content I produce? Not really. It's not a separate game mode or anything. It's just within the universe. So I might end up in a women's, managing a women's team as part of non-league to legend. Um, but I won't be doing specifically women's football content. But just like in non-league to legend now, if I get offered a job, I'll make the decision whether to take it or not based on what I do in real life. Non-league legend starting a women's team could be interesting. I mean, yeah, it probably could. However, the world is full of sexist morons, as demonstrated by everyone hating any Marvel movie or TV show that's about female characters. Um, so I think starting the series with a women's team would be a really bad idea for the whole trying to make money and get people to watch thing because there would be so many people who just refuse to even try. I'd have to trick them into watching. And even then, as soon as they found out it was a women's team, so many people would just switch off. But hopefully once they're into the series and they understand the logic behind the move because they're watching it happen as part of episodes, it won't scare too many people off. But I suspect that will be an issue with it. I think it's going to... There are enough thick meatheads out there who'd just stop watching if it was women's football. Might be interesting to see what jobs are available for and inevitably get established in the top tier of Turkey. Um, I'm quite up for staying in Turkey for ages. I'm not against this just being a save that just lived in Turkey. I mean, I'm not going to force it, but if that's the way it happens... Whether we uh, whether we take this club to Champions League glory or maybe upgrade again and go to one of the really big Turkish clubs, I'm not against this being a Turkey a Turkey uh, journeyman because that leaves the door open then to just have a do over a few months down the line. We win everything in Turkey, win the Champions League with a Turkish team, and then we're like, okay, that save's done now. We'll start unemployed again, not have Turkey as a playable league. See where we end up this time. Have I ever done a Kidderminster save? Um, I don't think I have ever managed Kidderminster. Have I managed? I don't think I have. And do another YouTube video. Yeah, of course we'll do another YouTube video announcing the save. I would like to think there'll be probably three rounds of European journeymen on FM24. We'll have one now that lasts until like February, March time, do another one to get us through to the Euros and then do another one over the summer. Similar to how a few years ago, Jack did Park to Prem and then later in the year did Park to Primera and did a Park to Prem in Spain. We could potentially just do a non to Legend. I mean, what I'm thinking is we do a non to Legend that starts in the country we ended the previous one in. And storyline wise, it's like the son of the person who ended that career was born while they were managing in that country so if we finish in spain we find the nearest lowest level club to the club we were at at the end of the previous one to kind of loosely link it together so if we end up managing barcelona at the end of non to legend the next one starts at the nearest low level playable team to barcelona would i ever do a rule where you can't apply for jobs you can only leave if headhunted no because that's not realistic Although, in the early days of Nodney's Legend, I never apply for jobs anyway. Oh, okay. My camera's overheated. That might be why it was glitching. Um, and we've conceded a goal at the same time. Um, one moment, boys and girls. This really might force through trying the other camera again. I found the off button. I've turned it back on. Hey! Oh, it's zoomed out. Hello! I'm so far away! Absolutely not. Well, there's been international management in non legend before. Come on. Kev needs to install little fans on this wall. I mean, what I actually need to do, and this is a time of the year thing, 
It's actually warmer in here than it is in the summer because it's cold enough to have the window shut and no a AC on. So I actually probably just need to keep the window open to keep it cool. The camera is underneath the lamp as well. So the lamp beats down on the camera. So that's going to heat it up as well. Right, let's have a winner. Semi's had a very good game. Right back. That's a penalty kick, surely. Surely, referee. Here we go. Penalty. What? How can you stop play, go to VAR, and then decide it's not a penalty? Hideous. And then we don't even get to see the corner. Look at our XG in this match. If we lose this match, we have been absolutely robbed. We've been robbed if it's a draw. We've got an XG of 3.6. Oh, what's going on? Two penalties robbed via VAR. An 88th minute winner. I demand a replay. Right, come on then. Let's go and beat the uh, the noisy neighbours. We want to be the team playing at this stadium in the Super League. We want this to be our ground that they just happen to also play in, not the other way around. It's nice seeing the egg full, isn't it? I mean, it's barely half full, but look at it. Look at all the people in the egg. This is a sign of the future for us. This is how things could be. If we got good, if we started playing Champions League football. There's loads of people here and Katongo has done a football goal. Oh, it's lovely seeing the egg full. So more than half full. There's more people here than would have fitted in the old ground that we shared. So for this one match this season, we've justified the existence of the egg. Oh, no, 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 no. Offside referee. Ah, uh, here we go. This is a Katongo moment. Look at the two big boys lining up there ready for the flick on. Oh, and there it is. Oh, come on then. Straight off the training ground again. The long throw is back, boys and girls. That's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we simultaneously extend our gap at the top of the league and make it harder for them to get promoted with us, which is the goal. We don't want to both get promoted. Come on, final whistle. This song is ominous. I don't like the fact that this song started playing... Oh, for goodness sake! The song did that to us! I hate that! Ah, uh, I mean, we've been robbed again, VAR-wise. We're not good enough going forward. We're not clinical enough. We've got the top scorer in the league, but we're not clinical enough. It's very frustrating. Right, should we see if Anchor have been relegated? I think they probably have. I mean, it's not actually showing that they have, but I think they probably have. They must have been. I mean, they're obviously going down. They've sacked the manager, have they? Seems a little harsh. Oh, they have. That's very harsh. As FM grows, my channel grows. Yeah, I mean, if, if FM25 is massive and there ends up with 20 million players of the game, then, yeah, we'll probably hit a million subs. But like I say, it's out of my control, isn't it? It's not something... I can't sit here now and go, I am going to get a million YouTube subscribers, and this is how I'm going to make it happen. Because I can't. It, it will just be a thing that happens because of circumstances. Right, boys and girls, I've just realised the time. Um, we can take the clop cap off now, because we just won comfortably. Um, I have now got hat hair, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but... The hat is off, and we are top of the league with seven games to go. Three points clear of third place. We're finishing the season tomorrow night, and then hopefully doing a top flight transfer window, which would be sensational.